guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Welcome to our secret underground location studios. And today we're going to take a minute and talk about circuit breakers because we, we had an interesting failure mode on a breaker and we figured we'd share it with you guys. Circuit breakers are something that, that really don't fail very often. They're really well built, they last a long time, and they're designed to take a lot of abuse. So it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, you've got a thing here that's designed with an interrupt rating at 10,000 amps and you can buy it for you know, 20, 30 bucks at your local hardware store, so it's kind of cool. In a lot of residential environments where you tend to have really small breaker boxes and people are always trying to cram in one more circuit and things like that, one of the common things to see is this, which is it's a single pole breaker, but, or a single phase breaker, and it only uses one slot in the cabinet, but it's actually two separate circuits. It's, it's two completely separate 20 amp circuits, in this case it's dual 20s, and they each have, it, it's just like a regular circuit breaker in half the thickness. Well, the older style, instead of having two side by side, was to have two up and down like this, or, or left and right as it'd be in the box. And we had a couple old breakers in our house here, we're, we're renting a, a house in a new town, and they were the old side by side ones, and one of them had failed. Now, only one circuit had failed, the other one was still fine, so it let us show you know, a nuisance breaker and how they can wear out and how they can fail, and it was kind of cool. And we took it out, the breaker itself was actually hot to the touch, like burn fingers hot, and the wire that was connecting to it had actually melted the insulation up. So it was, it was in really bad shape, and it's a good thing we replaced it when we did. But we took it apart, we drilled the rivets out, and if you look here on the super, super close-up desk camera, you can see that this side here is completely hosed. There's all kinds of black marks and all that, and this side here is fine. There's two totally separate breakers. I'll, I'll pull back a little bit, and you can see the front. There's, there's circuit one, and there's circuit two. Now, in looking at this, we'll, we'll dig into here. Down in here, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just take it right apart. You can see there's a contact in there, and We'll just take all this extra stuff out, if I can get it off. There. You can see the contact right there is still in pretty good shape. You know, I mean, that's, that's probably like 30 years old. It's still in really good shape. It's a good, there's, there's a good pad to the contact there, and this is the part that actually closes the switch. Now, that one's still good, good ready to go, no problems. Now, if we look at the other one, and you can see there's a lot of, a lot of fire sign all around it. It's, it's pretty hosed. And we'll just get some pieces out of the way here. If you look at that one, it's really scorched. It's still got a pretty good pad, but it's really pitted. There's, there's a lot of ablation on there, and, and down inside here, it's really pooched. The whole thing's torched, and there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of melted, nasty icky. So this, this had been abused for a long time. And it wasn't in any kind of a situation where it was, you know, it, it's a 15-amp uh, breaker, I think. Um, I'd have to look at the end of the thing. Yeah, it's a 15 amp breaker. This wasn't idling along at like, you know, 14 amps all day long, but it, sh it should have been able to take that without any problems, but that wasn't the case. We put a current meter on it, and we, we were having trouble trying to figure out why the breaker kept tripping all the time. And when, we, uh, when it finally gave out and started melting wires in it, we opened it up, and it was pretty easy to see. It was just worn out. So, yeah, there's, there's a completely destroyed breaker, and it's kind of cool. There's a lot of little bits and pieces in there. We'll do a video one of these days soon on how breakers work. We get Kidwell out, and we'll talk about thermal trip breakers and magnetic trip breakers. There's, there's all kinds of cool stuff to it. But here's the guts of an old square D circuit breaker. Fun little bit of science to explore. And there's some neat springs and stuff in there. It's kind of cool. But this one is toast. So, yeah, there you go. Junk circuit breaker. And this was replaced with one of these in a 15 amp version. And we replaced a lot of the old breakers here. And uh, they, the landlord had an electrician come in, and we went and got to have some fun with that. And there will probably be some video on that coming up soon. But we replaced all the crappy old breakers with modern ones, and we got to add a few new circuits so that we could build the new studio here in our secret underground location. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. We'll have more for you next time. That's it.